I won't lose him again. Dumb slob. Losing that DA so I don't even know where he's been for the last two hours. We'll find out where they've taken her. There's no need to get so upset. Mm -hmm. Now we'll find out, eh? For 200 grand a year attorney's fees, you couldn't even find out they were going to spring that Tonelli on us. I don't have all your sources of information, Ben. Yeah. Well? Nothing yet. The money I spent to make sure I got people in all the places where it counts. They can't even find out where they're hiding one lousy dame. I'll leave the prison and take her to city jail three hours ago. They haven't got there yet. Tonelli, they thought they had hidden out at Staten Island. Where do they think this one's going to be safe? I wouldn't worry too much about it in any case, Ben. Wouldn't you? Maybe that's because they're not trying to run you out of your own country and send you to some lousy place you don't even remember. She isn't going to hurt us, Ben. No, she isn't. Just let me find out where they're keeping her. Room 2409, St. Charles Hotel. Girls in room 2409 at the St. Charles Hotel. Room 2409, St. Charles Hotel. signed advertising was following me. And on top of this, I guess you figure you didn't have enough front page publicity lately. Or did you just want to show everybody how good you can pop a gun? Look, it was your boy that was trying to get himself a medal. He didn't care who he shot. He was after the girl. And then he read his instructions wrong. Or did he figure you wanted two for the price of one? Next time, let's make it clear to him who his friends are, huh? Lots of things will be different. Next time. Who's the other woman they brought in? Her sister. What do they want with her? Hallett figures maybe she can talk the girl into testifying. Huh? Can she? I don't know. I left before they got there. You want my opinion? Nobody's going to talk her into nothing. You got nothing to worry about. Can you imagine how that relieves my mind to hear him say I shouldn't worry? That's what I pay him for, to reassure me. If anything goes wrong, he can always say, it was just an opinion. Both ends against the middle. That's the way Vince likes to play things. You asked me. I asked you to help us get rid of the girl so she couldn't bother us again. I told you. Let's wait he and see if she is going to bother us. I guess you forgot to tell me that he's running things now. Well, I didn't mean it like that. Didn't you? It'd suit you just fine, wouldn't it? To see me booted out of the country. Wouldn't that be a sweet cover-up for a cop who's been on the take for the past ten years? To have his whole smelly past put on a boat and sent someplace where it couldn't ever bother him again. You're not making any sense. What do you want everybody's neck sticking out for? She's not going to talk anyway. Because I like everybody's neck stuck out when mine is. You know what's going to happen to you if she gets on that stand, don't you? Look, she hasn't even come close to saying she'll testify. And you haven't even come close to saying what you'd do if she does. Mr. Costain wants to know if he can depend on you, Vincent. Do what? Shove her out the window? If that's what it has to be. Oh, sure. With Hallett and 20 cops watching every minute. Now, why should I when it isn't even necessary? Because as long as you're still at the hotel, we can give you some help. After she's moved to the city jail tonight, you'll have to do it all by yourself. Nobody's moving her to any city jail. At 8 o'clock tonight, they are. How do you know? You know, I make it a point to know everything about everything that concerns me, Vince. So if you want any help, you'll have to get it before they move her. There isn't any way it can be done. We'll show you. I don't want you to miss a word. Next time we meet, it could be a big celebration, lots of money being passed around. Or it could be the last look I'd be taking at your face before they start shoveling dirt on it. You made your point. Good. Do exactly like we tell you, you'd be completely in the clear. You don't have to do anything more than you've been doing for the past ten years. You just 
have to turn your back and not worry about what's going on. Yeah. What do I do? Just unlock the bathroom window a couple of minutes before 8 o'clock tonight. The time is important. Right before 8 o'clock tonight, you unlock the bathroom window. That way, maybe you get to live a couple of years more. when I didn't expect to be here myself. Scared? No. Just mad. Will the government call its next witness, please? Mr. Sherry Conley. Here we go. Undesirable alien. Do you solemnly swear that the evidence you are about to give in the cause now before this court will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Your name, please. Sherry Conley. What is your present address? Upstate Women's Prison. Occupation? At present, gangbuster. <laughs> 